Hey, what's up guys? Here, for, here to make a quick news video and everything that's been happening on both servers. So, first of all, the King Long rerun. Uh, not much here, really, other, other than this katana, which... I... A lot, apparently a lot of people didn't get this back then, but... Definitely should get it now. Uh, it's 10% evade, uh, not much else to say here. If you've done everything else, all you're getting is the katana, and that's about it. So, moving on. Gilgamesh is coming on the global side. Very tough fight, by the way. This is not something really you can just uh, budget build for anymore. I, w I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone did, but this is becoming to the point where you need to start having 7-star units in your team. And for a lot of people that don't have any 7-stars, it's, it's going to be tough. <laughs> So, hopefully you guys can uh, wiggle your way through this one. Very tough fight. It took me a while to beat him on the JP side, but... With a Rainbow Whip on the global side for me, it probably will be a lot easier. <laughs> this guy... Probably be a lot easier on the, on the global side because you can actually understand the things that he's saying. You have to, like... For this fight, you have to basically... Um, abide by what he's saying. Like, he'll say... Do this this turn, do this this turn, or else he'll do something bad to you, so... It's very worth it to try and get, at least try and get this, because uh, it's a very good killer accessory. The, uh, these these missions are pretty tough. I think for most people, you're probably going to have to do a two, two run. I had to do two, two runs on this, so... Let's see what you guys can do, but... It should be a lot easier on the global side. This just hit us. At least this news. Um, so, they'll have two, two best, two step-up banners, two of K. Um, they're not guaranteed, they're just, it's a five-star guaranteed, so just keep that in mind. That, uh, her team R is not stackable, Carlitz, but it might be up to 100%, and nothing else has really been changed. So if you have, a, don't need a, if you are in need of a buffer, I guess go for your Raja, but I still feel like CG Call is better. But I'm gonna try to express not, I'm not trying to be as un unbiased as possible. Um, I will say though that for a lot of harder trials in the future, you can't really put a buffer in your team because you need two tanks or two healers. So keep that in mind guys when you're trying to pull, keep that in mind. So you won't always be able to bring her to every fight. And Carla is a uh, is TMR fodder, but I'm trying to keep this unbiased guys. She does have a lot of chaining capabilities with different families, a lot of different kind of elements, so it's, it is interesting, but keep that in mind, guys. Other than that, let's move on to the next one, where uh, it's the same thing for the item world, but you're also getting uh, burst pots. Now, I'm pretty sure they're only putting this in here because they're not giving us the 20-day item world. So this is the off offset the the reason why we're not getting it still and unfortunately none of these are really that great so hopefully you, you guys want something from these weapons because harps are useless pretty much hammers are pretty useless axes are relatively useless and claw like the fist weapon is the only one that's really decent so hopefully you guys can get in there and do something with that and i'm not really going to go into detail with these enhancements guys um because I don't have a lot of time, so you guys just make what you guys can make of it. Like, Bash's, Bash's enhancements are extremely good, and I know I'm trying to be unbiased, but I, I use Bosch a lot on the JP side. He's, his enhancements are very good for him. He gets a, he gets a dual cast for his breaks. Uh, he gets a... He gets a defense and the spirit prevention when he covers for that element. And also he gets a, a small buff for that as well. Now I heard that uh, Balthier gets like some kind of global buff or something or helps on, with something in his hand strike yet. So you guys have been looking for a Balthier. I mean, there he is. There's his enhancements. Still a finisher though, so. And Kanshiras are okay, I, if I remember. That's it on the, on the global side. Now on, on the JP side, this banner released. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review on them when the when there's more data, but apparently there's something happened with the app update where you, it's harder to get the data or something. So 
Until that happens, we're just going to go over the raid. It's the standard raid with that uh, extra pool, but we've been shafted one UOC. And we've also been shafted two 5-star EX tickets, but that was kind of to be expected. Since there's UOCs and Trust Mastery tickets in there, there's, apparently there's only 10 in here. So, yeah, only we only get two UOCs now per month unless something else happens. Uh, and, of course, the banner. Um, definitely going to be reviewing them, but... Uh, we're gonna, I'm, not, I'm not really gonna say much about them until the ban uh, until I review them. But there's the step up. It's okay. The standard step up, I guess they're going with now. Um, well, I know a lot of people aren't liking these dual dual units anymore. It's not really creative, but it the, they have to fill a banner like I fill a banner with something. So I guess this is what they went with. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. That's not new. Um, and of course this, apparently this was delayed if you guys bought the soundtrack. This is slightly delayed for a time, but if you pre-order this now, I think you still, still can. You get a unit with it. So the unit is decent. I think that's about it guys. Um, if you still guys like me, if you guys still like me doing the news videos, please leave a like and please comment what you guys are looking forward to on the Global or JP side. And if I missed anything for some reason, please let me know in the comments as well, so I can pin it or something like that. Thanks guys, peace.